Hi right, everybody, this is the Baseball Hood, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the People's Champion, your host. And this is another episode of the Three Stooges. Yes, before we get into this video, I need you to hit that subscribe button. You want to have a good laugh and just, uh, just talk about baseball and just all the stuff that's going on around uh, Major League Baseball and the announcers and everything else. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. So as you know, the Yankees aren't the Yankees of old. They're not winning championships. And quite frankly, they care more about bunting. They want to bunt. They want to get more bunting into the uh, into the offensive part of the program. And they, the nine analytics and their importance, they completely run away from it. And we know the general manager, Brian Cashman, uh, is is cursing up a blue streak. The owner, Hal Steinbrenner, is cursing up a blue streak. And, of course, the third member of the Three Stooges, Aaron Boone, well, he's getting thrown out of game. So these three buffoons have been running the ball club for quite a few years now. And the Yankee fans aren't happy. They're not happy. If George were there, he would have fired everybody and told his son to sit down. That's for damn sure. And everything is such a mess that even the other Stooges that work for the Yankees, and there are three other Stooges, and they're usually in the broadcast booth. Michael Kay, John Sterling, and Susan Wong, the only female member of the Stooges. As you know, they always harried, you know, the three Stooges back in the 30s and 40s, they always, in 50s, they always carried a spare Stooge round. And the Yankees Stooges are in the broadcast, one of the worst broadcast teams in baseball, quite frankly. Just horrible. Boring. And one of them, and he's a bit of a jerk, and that is Michael Kay, who will make up stories just to make up stories. He made up a story of the New York Giants coach saying that uh, he had a wild party the night before the first game against the Cowboys opening night, when that was partially true. It wasn't a wild party. It was a birthday party for his six-year-old kid. And then had to sort of apologize when he got the information. I didn't get all the information, he says. Well... Wonderful Michael K. But Michael is not happy. I would mention Michael K. He has an ESPN show with two other people, and they absolutely despise him. Absolutely, positively hate him. And he belittles and, and basically talks down to them all the time when he has the opportunity. And they, they're they there when he's not there. And they, he just sort of just belittles them, just treats them like crap. Well, anyway, he's not happy with Brian Cashman. Headline from Awful Announcing, which is this great website I, I discovered. What a great site. This is great. Michael K. blasts Yankees general manager Brian Cashman pro, for profane rant. Quote, he crossed lines. Hey, Michael, did you cross a line when you said the Giants coach was going to have like a wild you know, orgy at his house, but it was a birthday party for a six-year-old? You are representing one of the biggest brands all over the world. And you're dropping F-bombs and BS and stuff like that. It's not a good look. Well, you think so, Brian? You think so there, Michael? You think so? After Brian Cashman went on an uncharacteristically profane rant, Michael K. was quick to remind everyone that's not the Yankees way. No, I wouldn't think so. The button-up Yankees way. It's not about stiff upper lip, short haircuts, no facial hair. Other than these porn mustaches that they that they're wearing, Cashman spoke with reporters from the general manager meetings in Scottsdale, Arizona, for over an hour earlier this week. It was before a lot of these uh, executives got sick with a stomach bug, and fielded questions about the underperforming roster he built. Even though the Yankees have not won a World Series in 14 years, they haven't been to a World Series in 14 years. It is the the first time. That they went a whole, an actual decade without going to the World Series. And since 1920. So from 1910 to 1919 was the last time. And now this last 10 years of uh, the decade. Cashman became overwhelmingly defensive with reporters. Dropping F-bombs and blasting bullshit narratives around the team. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he just flipped out, folks. Completely, totally flipped. But whatever point Cashman was trying to make became lost in the way he went about it. And on Wednesday, Michael, not, not so okay, the longtime Yankees play-by-play -play voice, 
and weekday radio host on ESPN New York, Slam Cashman's Tyrant. I would mention about ESPN New York, they are dropping the FM dial. They're going to AM, which is a big loss for Disney ESPN. I would mention. This is a, that's a big loss. It'll be on the streaming services, though. Quote, I do not think that an executive of a team, especially a vice president, Long-time general manager, respected guy in the business, should have com comported himself in that way, Kay said. You can call me the old man on the lawn, shouting at clouds. Well, that's what you are, Michael, not so okay. It's taken me a long time to digest that every word out of a player's mouth is an F-bomb. They can't control themselves. Yeah, you know, players, they're dumb. They're dumb players. They're stupid. But as an executive, you're representing one of the biggest brands over the world. And you're dropping F-bombs and BS and stuff like that. I wonder if this is going on in the office. It's not a good look for Brian. You think so? Forget about what he said. The angry, contentious way that he went at it, I think is very, very questionable. Kay has long been forthright about his love for the Yankees and his hatred of profanity. Earlier this year, Kay ripped Mets superstar Pete Alonso for dropping an F-bomb on a post-game interview, and he similarly blasted LeBron James for doing the same thing. You know, Michael, they're just words. They can't hurt you unless you, they, unless you let them hurt you. Even though fans often unfairly criticize Kay for being a Yankees apologist, no one can accuse him of letting his fandom get in the way of calling out Cashman. Quote, Have you ever in your life ever heard an executive of a team speak like that? Ever? With that kind of anger, that kind of vitriol? With that kind of profanity ever, not so okay later ask. He crossed lines that have never been crossed before. I would mention, he have been here a long time. If you've been here a long time, having to hear your monkey crap, the monkey crap at WFAN, it, this is like, you know, Stockholm Center. He's going to start dropping some F-bombs here and there. You can't blame him. When he's being told all kinds of nonsense about uh, what's going on at the fan, on their radio station, the fan, and your station, with you, he's going to be cursing up a blue streak. Quote, yesterday was not an honorable way to go about criticizing the media or the fans or your critics, Kay said. A Yankee executive does not talk like that publicly, does not use expl expletives like that. Does not See, that's the one thing about Pete. He did that sort of in, in the heat of the moment. It's not what the, uh, Cashman did. Does not have that kind of mouth when the camera's rolling. It's not a good look for the New York Yankees. Believe me, I've been around this forever. The Yankees brand is very important to the people around the Yankees. You cannot tell me that that Brian did yesterday is good for the Yankee brand. It's not. It tells you that they are, they, are, they don't have no idea what the hell they're doing. They think they know they know what they're doing, but they don't. The, the result is everything. It's telling you everything. Kay could have said he didn't like the profanity and moved on, but instead he offered a brutally honest assessment of Cashman and the poor manner in which he represented the Yankees organization this week. But more than the profanity, the most concerning part about Cashman's tirade was the fact that he sounded unhinged, maybe even burnt out by incessant criticism of the roster he built. He's burned out, man. Sure, he should just get out of here. Dropping an F-bomb and repeatedly using bullshit as a way of calling out the fans Immediate was certainly jarring, jarring and bizarre. We've watched Cashman give endlessly boring interviews for more than three decades. But after what was arguably the Yankees' most disappointing season under his watch, Cashman sounded like a general manager who was starting to wrap. Maybe he should think about hiring somebody to do his job. Maybe Brian should think about just becoming a president of baseball operations and hiring a general manager to get out there and talk. Maybe that's, maybe that's at that point now. You know, add an extra person. You can always hide behind that person. Talk to talk to Hal. Hal doesn't know what the hell he's doing. They just care about their trust fund. That's all the Yankees care about at this point. And, and that's what that's what Brian should do. She say, Hal, I got a great idea. Why don't we hire a general manager and I don't have to go out and talk to the media all the time. And I have to sort of explain myself for every little ticky-tack nonsense and everything I'm being criticized for. And it's just another layer of another person in between us and them. You included there, Hal. Now, you're next in line. They talk to, they're not talking to me. They're talking to you. But if you add another person, a general manager, I could be president of baseball operations. Do what the Mets are doing. You know, 
and uh, you know, and even or even have somebody else have have the assistant general manager come out and talk about it. Who is the assistant general manager of the Yankees? Does anybody know? I mean, elevate that person to take the hits and have to explain everything away. That'd probably be the best thing for the Yankees to do. Well, anyway, let me know what you think about this video. And this is another episode of Three Blind Mice starring Yankees general manager Brian Kay and another stooge, Michael Kay. Brian Cashman and Michael Kay. I'll get it right. Thank you. And I'll see you later.